I just don't understand how this team could lay not just one egg, not two, but three eggs in the postseason. Make it make sense, bro. Rev, how do we have a defensive head coach, a defensive coordinator who is who is widely regarded as one of the best defensive minds in the game? How is it that we have these men in charge of this defense and we give up 36 against the Chiefs in year in, in regular we give no we give up 38 in the AFC championship game against the Chiefs. We give up 42 the year after in the same game against the, in the divisional round against the same opponent. Mm-hmm. You blow in you blow a 16 point lead, 16 nothing. To the Houston Texans in Josh's second year, uh, and then and then and then this year in the playoff, the divisional round, I mean the wild card round, thirty one, yeah, to Skylar Thompson. Now, granted, we really played like crap. We turned the ball over a lot. We gave them a great field position. That's a McDermott problem. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And against against this team against. We drafted Kyrie Elam to play man coverage, to be a guy that can play man coverage on one side versus, you know, we can teach him zone. Right. And Trey White, why didn't you why didn't you change up? We didn't compete. Rev, we didn't <laughs> compete. Rev, if we I'm, lost I'm 24 I feel you, to 20, okay. If we lost right. 24 to 17, yeah. Fine. Yeah. It was twenty-seven to ten, and Rev that game they could have scored. They could have scored forty-seven if they. They really could have. They really could have. They took like, their like, foot off the gas, man. We couldn't move the football. We were nowhere in that game from a kickoff. Nowhere in that game at all. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring. I've, I've got the. I got the images uploaded, man. So I'm, I'm. Since we're talking about this, man, and some of these issues and, and defense or whatever, I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw these steals up, and uh, you got and you let me know. What you what you oh think about? <laughs> I know you're going to throw up the third and four. I know it's coming. All right, Let me go ahead and take All my right, little here. sip now. Look, look. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Give me th- thoughts, man. Th- thoughts on on this on this one. Okay. We don't we don't really need to have we don't we don't need to go that far back, right? But re- hey, we, re- I, I I can look at this and I can tell you right now. You got three bunch receivers on one side. Uh-huh. And we have two. You have Levi Wallace. I don't know where he is. He looks like he's <laughs> in Kentucky. He's not anywhere near the stadium right now, dude. Like, what are we doing? We're not even lined up close <laughs> enough to even affect the play. Nowhere near. Like, no, they, I, we are defending the be defending the sideline. Defending the and sideline. And they got timeouts. And they got timeouts. They got timeouts. They got timeouts. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> All right, all right. So Thirteen seconds. You guys remember that, right? Oh my god! I, I told you guys. Look, I, I told y'all. I told y'all at the beginning of the show. If you if you are an eternal optimist, you may want to check out because we're gonna have to have some 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 hard conversations right now about some of the things that are happening. You know, I thought Silas. I thought after this, fam, I thought they would have learned their lesson. I thought oh. they would have learned their lesson. There's no, I'm like, there's no way this coaching staff, defensive coaching staff, Sean McDermott, Leslie Frazier, Eric Watt, all of them, there's no way they let that happen again, especially not in the playoffs. But oh my gosh, lo and behold, it, it, as, if 13 seconds, coming. if 13 seconds wasn't enough, I know what's coming. If 13 seconds wasn't enough, and you know we hear Sean McDermott talking about you know oh you know we're gonna learn from this and look look fam how, how long is it gonna take for you to learn from this how you gonna learn how long how many times are you gonna keep on making this mistake and talking about learning thirty four Rev I don't even see I don't even see the other corners lined yet, up in this, they, they, they not they not even in the frame fam <laughs> they not even in the frame what in the heck is going on. With this right here, third and four, in the snow, you know what I'm saying? Look, you got you got Trey White playing so far off. 
The other corner, you they not, not even in the frame, bro. Not even in the frame. You got Jamar Chase up top. T. Higgins in the slot. Uh next to next to Tyler Tyler Boyd. And then I think that's I think that's their tight end uh on the bottom of the screen, right? I mm-hmm. think that is. Yep. Where where are the defenders, bro? Where, four yards. Four yards. And that's what you that's 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 the play. Somebody put it out there, man. They said Vic Fangio. Hey. Vic Fangio, Lovey Smith. Somebody, somebody with some aggression, but but we'll <sighs> we'll, we'll talk about this is like Rev, it's third and four. Why aren't you pressed up against these guys? Compete. You, like man, compete. Uh, okay, but it's third and four. They in the red zone. You are not. You're in the snow for one. Okay. So that's I mean, you expect your ability. That like even if you even if you feel like you can come up and and and, and, and drive interrupt and them at the trash at the at the at the catch point or make a play on the ball from 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 an off position. Yeah, you're not because you're not going to get the you, you can't push off in the snow. You can't. And and then and then my my thing was like, you've got a cornerback in Trey White who's coming who who's who's still kind of favoring his his repaired ACL, right? In the snow. Okay, he is what? What? What is he about? About what would you think? Seven yards. Two, 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 three, yeah, two, three yards past the sticks. Yep. Yep. Okay, on third and four, mm-hmm. against Jamar Chase, big body, physical wide receiver. Okay, he can't tackle him anyway. But yeah, facts. Yeah. And so you think that having Trey play this coverage right now, he's going to be able to drive on the ball and keep the play in front of him and make a tackle on Jamar Chase who's a lot bigger and a lot stronger than Trey White is, and then considering the fact that they're in the snow and Trey White's coming off that injury. Who in the world thought that was okay to do? Uh, clearly, I, don't care, I, don't care, I don't care I don't care. if you're afraid of them going up the top and, and, and scoring. You don't want to just give them an easy first down like this, and they're already in the red zone, fam. Like, like this makes no sense. And then, and then, like even at, at the play, I think, I think, I think, uh, Jamar Chase caught the ball maybe a, a, a couple of yards behind the sticks, and and Trey may have gotten a hand on him, but by then, the fam, it was too late. Yeah, it's too he late. Ran, he, he, and he ran right through Trey. He ran, ran right, ran through, right Trey. through him. And then on top of that, suppose Trey White makes a stop. Suppose Trey White and they and they gang tackle Jamar Chase short of the sticks, a yard short. You mean to tell me for one second? That you don't think this is four down territory for the Bengals? The way they've been marching down the field, mm-hmm. you think for one second that they're not going to go for it on fourth and short and can't get a first down? Come on, man! Like that don't make no sense. Press that man, make it hard for him, and if you get beat over the top, you just get beat over the top. So what? Okay, but don't get it. You're giving these guys easy receptions, easy first downs. It makes zero sense for me whatsoever. Anthony English comes in with a super chat. He says, "Yo, I've been saying this for years now." McDermott's brain stops working in big playoff games. They said the prevention defense in, in, in Kansas City was McDermott's idea. You know what? I, I tend to agree with you, man, that his brain, that he has a major brain fart in the playoffs. When he's going up against a contender, you know what I'm saying, uh, he and the, and the rest of the coaches, they, they fart all over themselves. You know what I'm saying? It, it, I, don't, I don't understand. Like, in those situations – you don't you don't play that type of a defense. You plan not to lose. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Rather than playing to win, I I, I don't it, I don't get it, fam. I, I don't get it, Silas. Uh, press that man. Press that man. This the stats show the stats show red. When we went uh, man coverage, when we manned up. It was Joe Burrow was two or seven for fourteen for fourteen yards. Two or uh. seven for fourteen yards, man. And Bottom, man, bottoms up, guys. Come on, man. Like, like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are we doing here? And I don't know how much longer we can continue to to to, to deal with this and, and talk about it. You know, as if all oh, this is it's okay. You know, go, golly gee, guys, we'll get him next year. You know, this is okay. Stop being so negative. Are you are you kidding me right now? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like you have to you have to have these conversations. You have to look at this stuff and call it for what it is. It's hard garbage, and for two years straight. Two years straight, at least two years, they have lost on account of horrible coaching decisions. 
and the worst moments yeah. of the game. They talk about putting the players in the best possible position to succeed. Well, they haven't done it in two years straight in the biggest moments, in the biggest games of the season. They have whiffed. And we can talk about players and lack of execution and all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, when you when you when you draw when you draw up this, what do you expect them to do? And, and unless unless you got some some players who are like, man, forget that. Unless Tremaine Edmonds says, here's that call, he's like, man, we ain't running that. Forget that. <laughs> forget forget what coach is talking about. Get up on them and press. Unless you're gonna have some dogs who are willing to do that and go against the coaching. That's the, that's the results you're going to get, man. That's what we've gotten for two straight seasons in the postseason, and it's why we're sitting here with the Super Bowl contending team on the outside looking in, scratching our heads, wondering what happened, having Isaiah McKenzie and Stephon Diggs talk to each other about, man, how does this keep happening? How does – I'll tell you how. Right there, coaching. And we ain't even got to the offensive side of the ball. 